Welcome to this journey through the heart and soul of Barbados, its music. Get ready to experience the rhythm and beat of this island, which has been shaped by its unique history and diverse cultural influences. Barbados has a rich musical heritage that dates back centuries. From the days of African slaves being brought to the island to work on sugar plantations, music has been a powerful way for the people of Barbados to express themselves and connect with each other. Over time, different musical styles have emerged, including calypso, soca, reggae, and rhythm and blues, each with its own distinct beat and energy. These genres have become synonymous with the island and are celebrated by the people of Barbados at festivals and cultural events throughout the year. Barbados has produced many talented musicians and singers over the years, including soca star Alison Hines, reggae singer Jackie Opal, and global sensation Rihanna. These artists have put Barbados on the map and have made their mark on the world stage, taking the unique sound of the island to new heights. So buckle up, grab your dancing shoes, and get ready to feel the beat as we explore the music of Barbados. Join us as we discover the history, the genres, and the artists that have made this island a musical paradise. Embark with me on a journey to the heart of the Caribbean, where breathtaking landscapes and vibrant culture come together in perfect harmony. Welcome to Barbados, an island known for its lush green hills, crystal clear waters, and vibrant music scenes and sounds. This is Voyage Vibes, the ultimate destination for travel enthusiasts. Music in Barbados begins with the arrival of African slaves to the island in the 1600s. These slaves were forced to leave behind their traditional music and culture, but they found a new way to express themselves through the instruments and rhythms of their European captors. This fusion of African and European musical styles gave birth to Calypso, a genre that quickly became popular among the slave population. Calypso was characterized by its upbeat tempo and politically charged lyrics, and it was a powerful way for the people of Barbados to express their feelings and connect with each other. Calypso has evolved over the years, giving rise to other genres such as soca, of which have become incredibly popular in Barbados and around the world. These genres have their own distinct beats and energy, but they all share a common ancestry and a deep connection to the island's cultural heritage. From the early days of Calypso to the modern-day success of artists like Rihanna, music has always been an important part of the cultural identity of the island and continues to play a central role in the lives of the people of Barbados. Reggae music has a long and rich history in Barbados, and the island has produced some influential and popular reggae artists such as Rayvon, who's best known for his work with Shaggy. This genre was first introduced to the island in the 1960s and 70s, and it quickly became popular among the young people of Barbados who were looking for a new and innovative sound. Reggae is characterized by its roots-based sound and positive, conscious lyrics. It has become a voice for the oppressed and a way for people to connect with each other on a spiritual level. For many people in Barbados, reggae music is a way to express their beliefs and spread hope and positivity to the world. The impact of reggae music on Barbados cannot be overstated. Artists like Bob Marley and the Wailers, who performed in Barbados in the 1970s, have inspired countless musicians and fans around the world, and their influence can still be felt today. Dancehall music has a rich and vibrant history in Barbados as well, and the island has been at the forefront of this genre for decades. Dancehall first emerged in Jamaica in the late 1970s and early 1980s, and it quickly spread to other Caribbean islands, including Barbados. The music is characterized by its fast-paced rhythms, infectious beats, and catchy lyrics, and it quickly became popular. This genre is all about having fun and letting loose. The music is often accompanied by frenzied dancing and energetic performances, and it has become a staple of the club and party scene in Barbados. Whether it's at a local dance hall party or a large scale festival, dance hall is always guaranteed to get people moving and shaking, bubbling and grinding the night away. For Bajans, dance hall is more than just a musical genre. The music is upbeat, energetic, and full of life, and it provides a much needed escape from the everyday. Whether it's through the catchy rhythms of popular dancehall artists like Mr. Vegas, Alkaline, Vibes Cartel, and Shinsia, or the vibrant and energetic performances of the dancers and DJs like Puffy who was crowned as the Red Bull 3 style champion in 2016, dancehall continues to captivate audiences and bring people together. 
When it comes to dancehall music, the first thing that usually comes to mind is Jamaica. But, did you know that Barbados has a thriving dancehall scene of its own that is quickly making a name for itself? This subgenre, known locally as simply dancehall, is gaining recognition for its unique sound and style, and has produced some of the Caribbean's most talented artists. At the forefront of Barbadian dancehall is the legendary lyricist, L.R., who is known to his fans as the Lone Realness. With hits like Chargy and Sly, L.R. has captivated the ears of Barbadians with his impressive lyrics and addictive hooks. He weaves together the melodies of the chorus with his militant verses, creating a sound that is both alluring and powerful. Using a blend of the Barbadian dialect and Jamaican pubwa, L.R. truly embodies the spirit of the island. Dancehall in Barbados is a reflection of the lives of those who live in working-class areas and have been forced to find alternative means of income when the education system fails them. Through lyrics that are relatable and music videos that are captivating, the genre provides a window into the struggles and triumphs of this community. With artists like Lil Rick, Peter Ram, Mole, Rainy Bashment Soka King, Brutal Crankstar, and Lee Pipe leading the charge, the future of Bajan Dancehall is looking bright. Soka music, a genre that pulses with energy and life, has been a staple of the Barbadian music scene for decades. From its origins in Trinidad and Tobago to its current status as a mainstay of Bajan culture, Soka music has captured the hearts of music lovers all over the island. So let's explore the rich history of Soka in Barbados, the artists who have helped shape the genre, and one of the most important events in the Soka calendar, Crop Over. Soka music first made its way to Barbados in the 1970s and has since become a staple of the island's music scene. From its roots in calypso music, soca has evolved into a high-powered, energetic genre that is loved by people of all ages. Some of the early pioneers of soca music in Barbados include King Jeremy, Roy Cape All-Stars, and The Mighty Gabby. These artists took the traditional sounds of calypso and infused them with elements of funk, soul, and other genres, creating a new sound that was faster, more upbeat, and more energetic. Fast forward to today, and the soca scene in Barbados is thriving. With its infectious rhythms and high-energy beats, soca music continues to be the soundtrack of choice for Barbadians and visitors alike. Today, the genre is being pushed forward by a new generation of artists, many of whom are taking the traditional sounds of soca and incorporating new elements like hip-hop and EDM. Some of the biggest names in Bajan soca today include Lead Pipe and Sadist, Peter Ram, and King Bubba. One of the most important events in the soca calendar is Crop Over. This festival, which takes place each year in Barbados, is a celebration of the island's rich cultural heritage. With its vibrant parades, live music, and endless partying, Crop Over is a truly unforgettable experience. It's a time when the entire island comes together to celebrate the end of the sugarcane harvest and to dance the night away to the sounds of soca music. Whether you're a lifelong fan of the genre or just discovering soca for the first time, Crop Over is an event that you won't want to miss. Soca music in Barbados is a true celebration of life and energy. From its roots in Calypso to its modern, high-powered sound, this genre has been a staple of Barbadian music for decades. The music scene in Barbados is rich and diverse, with a wide range of genres and styles that reflect the unique cultural heritage of the island. From the roots of Calypso and Reggae, to the electrifying beats of Dancehall and Soca, there's something for everyone in the music scene of Barbados. Whether you're a fan of classic artists like Alison Hines and Rupi, or you prefer the more contemporary sounds of Crossfire, Square One, and King Bubba, there's no denying that the island is a true melting pot of musical talent. And let's not forget the annual spectacle of Crop Over, which brings together some of the best soca artists and performers from around the world for one unforgettable celebration of Caribbean culture. So if you're looking for a place where music and rhythm are always in the air, then Barbados is definitely the place to be. If we forgot anyone, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel and hospitality videos. Cheers!